So hello and welcome to all of you all over the world. It is of course a fixture that needs no introduction. It is without doubt the ultimate game the continent has to give us. The final of Euro 2020. This competition has been one of change, one of many firsts, a new qualifying format, venues across the continent, no single host country, and I'm sure the debates about the success or otherwise of it will start as soon as the whistle is gone. Perhaps those debates already have, but one thing has never changed, and that is the fact that football keeps bringing us back for the very same reasons. These championships have again served the game well as a showcase for the best that it has to offer, perhaps helped in no small part by those changes which we have been witnessing. So let us hope it gets a fitting final. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. Well, for the players on both sides, this is their date with destiny, a chance to ensure their place in football history. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer, and the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude, and yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. Well, this is it. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Played into the middle. Brzezicki. Brzezicki plays it forward. Longley does well there, alert. Conte. Tolisso. It's a chance for Poland to counter-attack. Now it's Lewandowski. Piontek. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. It's not taking him long, and that's going to be a booking. Protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. A real opportunity here from a position of great potential. Lewandowski! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Across the field it goes. Kimpembe. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Tolisso. Finds himself eased off the ball. Piontek absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. 
Just brushed off the ball there. Piontek with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I... The referee's awarded a free kick. Got options out wide. Now it's Grzycki. Tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Over to the left. Tries a shot! <laughs> Lewandowski attempts a clearance. Lewandowski displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Kimpembe. And it's Fekir. And here's Griezmann. Milik. A real chance to break. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Rafael Baran. Hoists it forward. The play for a throw. It's come through. Lewandowski spreads it towards the left. Cut out in the nick of time. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. At the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim. How's it looking for you? Well, with it being a final, caginess is to be expected each obviously wants it badly but neither wants to find themselves behind them and that's the issue now Big goals at this stage but certainly not devoid of action it is nil nil here at half time and we're up and running so deadlock still as the second half begins. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Matuidi. What a throw in. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Matuidi. Kimpembe. Intervention was very necessary. Zielinski. Coma. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Milik. 
This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Milik. Oh, great. Lewandowski has a goal. And they has a hit! It's a goal! Could that be the start of something big? An act of charity gratefully received. France take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone. Real chance! There's a goal! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser! Jim, your thoughts? Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. They took the defence out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done. France are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Done very well to intervene. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Griezmann. Bekir hits it! Griezmann is short. Looks to happen to meet it! Harmlessly behind. Through ball is intercepted. Loose ball, who's going to get that? And that's been one straight back. Now it's Griezmann with a shot! And somehow he managed to miss it. Griezmann fully appreciates that he could have won it then, and now he'll be all the keener not to lose it. Shakes to shoot. And no, he couldn't find the finish. Rosicki has created one goal already. Rosicki. Rosicki. It's a brilliant interception. That's gone up. He'll try from distance. Gave it a go, but off target. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's played forward. Blaszczykowski. Milik. Piontek plays it out to the flank. He's made sure that that won't get through. Nothing to separate them, we have extra time. Yeah, and it's been a contest between two sides that were evenly matched on the day. Neither deserves to be on the losing side. 
So a brief breather and then extra time. We're on the way. That's not going to make it. Conte tries to get it forward quickly. And that is as far as they're going to go. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Longley drives it forward. It's got through to him. Has a hit! Yes, he's got it! And that may just do it! Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Pinged forward. Zielinski looking to break out here. Mbappe. Ben Yedda. Oh, good interception. Cleared without complication. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Poland come roaring back in quite some style. We've got a very different game now. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. Well, here we go then. So, time for a bit of smash and grab. Mbappe. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Krakowiak. Played out to the right. Well played, he saw that coming. Forward it goes. Matuidi. Matuidi goes looking. Takes aim with a cross. Great leap! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Yeah, it's safe. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Poland are the conquerors of Europe. Winners of the final in a European Championship that is truly delivered. And this is an honour which is truly deserved. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.